All right, thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I'm gonna show you the components of the Tesla soon to be full self-driving level five system. This is on my Model X, but all Teslas are similar to this. Pretty much have the identical system in almost identical locations, just different size car, that's about it. Okay, so let's start with the visual cameras. Well, starting with the older Teslas, my system's coming on now. Actually, I'm gonna leave this key out so it doesn't keep opening the door on me. There we go. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but there are three cameras mounted right behind the rear view mirror. And all, actually, Autopilot 1 systems had this. So Autopilot 2 and 3 and 1, all of them, 1, 2, 3, they all have three cameras facing out right behind this rear view mirror. There's three of them. There's one in the center, I don't know if you can see it, and then one left and one right. I think you should be able to make those out. I can just barely make them out there. Yeah, I see them. That's as far as I can zoom in. All right, so one, two, three. Three cameras facing forward. These are just visual cameras. I'm not sure if they're color or black and white. I don't know if it matters. But, you know, you have to have autopilot three in order for this system to work. So autopilot one cars will never be able to achieve full self-driving level five, but level two point level two and greater, autopilot two and greater can upgrade to level three through a computer upgrade. So those are those are three cameras right there. Now there's two other ones in the front, on the front fender, right behind the between the front door and the front wheel. You can see right here, there's a camera. See that? It's facing, it's facing back. It's looking, looking, looking to the back of the car. All right, I hear my knee cracking. So you, on, on both sides, you've got two side mounted cameras. This one faces the back of the car. Every Tesla Autopilot 2 and greater has this. Autopilot 1 does not. That's how you can tell you can look at the side marker. It's just a uh, solid piece of, of chrome or chrome plastic. And then you come over here to the door and then on Autopilot 2 and greater, you will have a camera can you see that in there? Yeah, trying to trying to zoom. It's hard to uh, get to focus on that camera, but there's a camera in there. You see it? And that camera is facing forward. If you saw my video where a cop pulled somebody over, I, I think it got video off of the um, front-facing cameras. I don't know if the rears were working, at least not yet in the software. I can't wait till they have them working on your phone. So that'll be awesome. So, so you see one, two cameras here. That adds to the three in front. That's five. Now six, seven. The um, the other side, the driver's side, also has that. And then let's walk around the back. And obviously the one you can watch in your screen, the backup camera is right there. You see that? That's rear-facing. Everybody has a rear-facing backup camera. And let's look at the other two on the driver's side facing forward. There it is. See it pretty clearly there? Facing backwards. There it is. And now you know where they are. Easy to find, right? Now it's, there's also a front mounted radar and that is behind the front bumper. It might even be down this way. I'm not sure. It might just be behind the front bumper. It's not used so much in the system, but it's there. I think it's supposed to be able to watch the car in front of you and the car in front of that to see if they're braking since you can't really see that with visual cameras. That's the point of that. That's, that's, that's the initial intended use. And then in addition to that, you've got ultrasonic sensors. See, there's a, a sensor right here. You probably never noticed this. These, aren't, these are not screw covers. These are actually sensors. There's one there, two, one, two. Come around here, three, uh, four. One, two, three, four, so that's six. Because there's two other ones over here on the driver's side, right there. That's, that's a six, six total already. Then there are, in Model X, there's sensors behind these doors, behind the metal. It's the only model that has that. Forget my dent there. And then there should be six more of these, right? There's, there's an ultrasonic sensor here. One, two, three, four, five, and six, so that's that's your sensor suite. 
That is the entire sensor suite. All right, let's go inside and look on the inside of the car so I can show you where the computers are. Okay, in Model S and X, there's two computers, two separate computers. There's one that's actually behind the center screen, two screens, two displays in S and X. Three and Y only have the one uh, landscaped screen. That's the only one they have in the car. And there's so there's two computers. There's one MCU, and you have either MCU 1 or MCU 2. Now, they're saying MCU 1 will work with Autopilot Level 5. Who knows? I got MCU 2. I got, they call it the infotainment upgrade. I got that. And then there's the self-driving computer, which you can't see. It's behind this, uh, right on top of the uh, glove compartment here. Driving gloves, whatever you want to call it. Okay, it's uh, it's in there. It's cooled. Heated, it's heated and cooled, but mainly cooled. And I have the full self-driving computer upgrade. And you can tell by checking software. There we go. It tells you what you've got right here. Whoops. Now you must have paid for this full self-driving. It's a software option of like five to eight thousand dollars depending upon what they're charging. Now it could be charging even more. I think I only pay like four. Premium connectivity doesn't matter. <clears throat> Additional vehicle information here, it'll tell you what you've got. I've got the full self-driving computer. That's the one I'm telling you about here on top of the glove box. And infotainment processor, I've got that. Like I said, that probably doesn't matter. But this is just where the hardware is. I'm letting you know. This is Now, in Model 3 and Y, you're not going to have the two screens. And you're not going to have the two computers. You only have one computer that can do apparently all of the the work and of course it's a newer generation computer because the they're newer cars and mcu1 was 2012 to like 2017 and then of course then model 3 is produced after that so there's this faster processing you know how it goes elon musk is kind of you know skating on the edge here of just when the hardware becomes available just when the processing power works he wants to get in there get in there and uh, get this thing going right away. So that's the idea. And of course, this has 5G. Infotainment processor has 5G. So MCU-1 only has 4G. I'm wondering how that's even going to work. The latency is significantly more with a 4G system. 5G solves those problems. And of course, 5G is what's needed for data transmission for a full self-driving car. All this is just you know coming together. And this is the system. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end and getting this little bonus material or whatever, you know, of the explanation of the computer systems and the cars and the sensor suites. And if you have any questions, by all means, let me know in the comments. And thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Hit that thumbs up and the bell for notifications. Bye.